today I want to talk about a woman that was highly used by God in the 19th century. Her name was Evangelist Catherine Kuhlman. She was born on the 9th of May 1907 and she died on 20th February 1976. She was a radio and television evangelist and also a great revivalist. Catherine Kuhlman was known for a radio and television program titled I Believe in Miracles and she was also a great revivalist. She was a faith healer. Evangelist Catherine Kuhlman was known for her healing and miracle crusades. A story was said about this woman that more than two million people will be healed in one of our meetings. A story was also said about Catherine Kuhlman that she would lift her index finger in her crusade ground and point it to a direction and all the people in that direction will be under the influence of the power of God for days that even when the crusade is over, the people will still be under the influence of the power of God. I was also told a story about Catherine Kuhlman, how Catherine Kuhlman would stay in her room for days without seeing anybody, without seeing the daylight and without seeing the moon and the stars, interceding and crying before the Lord that the glory of God will fill the entire land and the entire people and the glory of God will sweep through the nations of the world. What a woman! This was a woman highly used by God. Why? Because there was this in-depth hunger in her about the Holy Spirit. She had this dying-hearted faith. She had this in-depth hunger for the things of God. I also read a story of Catherine Kuhlman that in each of her crusades all the wheelchairs will be empty. I was also told a story of how Catherine Kuhlman will walk into the hospital and the dead people will be raised back to life. And when I went through the story of this woman, I began to ponder, why has God not raised another and highly anointed woman more than Catherine Kuhlman? For your word says that we move from glory to glory. And I got an answer from the Lord last night. And God said, how can I use the ladies of this generation when all the think about is Shawama instead of thinking about Jehovah Shammah? How can I use them when what to think about is the latest passion instead of latest passion for Christ? How can I use them when my children, the daughters of Zion, masturbate and they believe in lesbianism more than evangelism? How can I use the daughters of this generation when they watch Netflix from morning till night instead of godly messages? How can I use the daughters of Zion of this generation when a young lady will visit a brother on Saturday night and leave a brother's house for Sunday service instead of visiting the secret place of the Most High God? How can I use them when they fix counterfeit eyelashes instead of having an encounter to have a spiritual eyes? How can I use them when all the talk about a story instead of talking about the glory? How can I use the sisters of this generation when every one of them carry big titles instead of carrying the mantle? How can I use the seasons of this generation when all the think about is Brazilian air instead of thinking about carrying the heaven's air which is the glory of God how can I use them how can I sisters of this generation empty wheelchairs in their program when their lives are empty and that is the reason I wept so much in the presence of God asking God please raise more than Catherine Kuhlman in this generation raise highly anointed sisters highly anointed women of God again in this generation every manifestation in God's presence begins with an hunger how many people are hungry how many women are hungry in this generation to manifest to carry the glory the in-depth of the cabal of God how many sisters are hungry to die in the secret place all the long interceding until your sweat will become blood how many sisters are hungry for the in-depth of the glory of God tonight we pray that God will deposit in our sisters in this generation dying hearted hunger for the Holy Ghost God bless you hero God's general is my name <laughs> You live forever, eternity will worship.